Can I apply to change my status or extend my status from inside the United States? Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States, out of our offices in St. Louis, San Diego, and Washington, D.C. Today, we are talking about situations where somebody enters the United States on a B-1, B-2 visitor visa. That is usually a six-month entry. And when you apply for that visit visa, you are making a promise to the federal government that at the end of your six-month stay, you will leave the United States on time and that you will follow the law and that you won't try to extend your status. Now, you would be shocked at how many people, even in 2023, are applying to extend their status or change their status while in the United States after having entered on a B-1, B-2. And for the most part, this is a really dumb idea. For the most part, this is not going to work. Unless you're talking about marrying a U.S. citizen and applying for adjustment of status, If you're not talking about that kind of a situation and you're talking about changing to an F-1 visa or a J-1 student visa or some other kind of non-immigrant visa, those applications should be made at the embassy. Those applications should not be included in an I-539. Moreover, you shouldn't apply for extension of status. You have made this promise, and once you make that promise, you better live up to it because if you don't, your future immigration possibilities are going to be extremely limited. Because here's the thing. I don't think it really matters that much if you overstay your visa with an I-539 on file, extension of status, or change of status, or without. Now, obviously, I'm being a little bit facetious, and it does matter, and you always want to maintain your status, but you can't put much weight into a a 539 that's filed to extend or change status. And the reason for that is that the vast majority of applications to change status or extend status are denied. And so if you file such an application and you sit around in the United States and wait for the processing of that application to take place, you're most likely going to uh, make them mad and put yourself in a position to never get a visa again. What do I mean by that? Well, let's say you file for this extension of status. Now, in the old days, these would be approved or denied in a couple of months, and people would know pretty much before their six-month authorized stay was over, or they would get it shortly thereafter so that they didn't accrue too much unlawful presence. Now, when you do this now, though, the cases take 14 months, 16 months, 18 months, 20 months. These are on the bottom of the list of things that USAS is concerned about processing. And the reason for that, again, is because you promised that you were going to go home on time. You were going to go home in those first six months, and now you haven't done it. Now you've made them mad, and now you're not going to be able to get future visas. The State Department will hold it against you later if you come back to apply for another visit visa or some other non-immigrant visa. So don't do this. With everything I have, let me implore upon you to not file for a change of status, to not file for an extension of status. Now, I'm sure there are people who will leave me a comment. Oh, Jim, I know this guy, or I am this guy in California who knows this immigration lawyer who waved his magic wand and was able to get me an extension of status. And yes, it does work. It works every once in a while, like maybe one out of 100, one out of 200 times. But for the vast majority of people, they are putting their very fragile immigration status and their long-term immigration status at risk by filing such an extension. So I'm asking you, I'm begging you, please do not file such an extension because for the most part, it's going to be denied and you're going to find yourself with a very complicated immigration history and you're going to be wishing that you never filed it. If you want to talk about this, you can always come on our Immigration Answer Show. We have an Immigration Answer Show, which we do live three or four times a week on YouTube and on Facebook. And also, you can find me in our Immigrant Home Facebook group, where we talk about immigration issues of the day. People talk about the process. Every now and then, I jump in there and answer a question here, too, if I think I can add value. We also have our YouTube channel. The best way to keep track of what I'm up to and what we're doing is to subscribe to the YouTube channel, so make sure that you do that. If you're thinking about hiring us, we wouldn't most likely do an extension of status, but let's say you married a U.S. citizen and wanted to stay for an adjustment of status, something like that, and you wanted to hire us to be your lawyer, we'd be happy to talk to you, 314-961-8200, or email us, info at hackingimmigrationlaw.com. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.